These prices certainly difficult on everyone, but for some it could mean some much needed free meals could disappear. Paula Suro spoke with Meals on Wheels tonight and joins us live with that impact. Paula. Yeah, Jennifer, you know, AAA says across Georgia, gas prices have jumped 38 cents since last week. And I mean, we're seeing that throughout several gas stations here in the metro Atlanta area, as well as throughout the state. I mean, look at this QT, 429 cents a gallon. Well, Guess what? The Shell gas station just down the road, 480 a gallon. Well, Meals on Wheels, which is also down the road, says they serve more than 1,800 meals a day. But because of these prices, that number might go down. Uh, the pinch at the pumps being felt right here at Meals on Wheels Atlanta. We have to spend more money on uh, delivering the food and, and buying the food, and it reduces the amount of seniors we can feed. That additional cost putting in jeopardy the number of senior citizens the group is able to help even at a time when the organization is receiving record calls for meals. January we had one of the biggest calls in our last three year history and we now have started a waiting list again because we can't feed all the people. Chief Operating Officer Robert Gersnecker says not only are gas prices affecting the delivery to seniors. A couple weeks ago it was about $72 to fill up the car. Now it's 93. It's also impacting food prices. Food prices specifically have gone up anywhere from 20 to 30 percent, depending on what we're purchasing, especially proteins, dairy. In order to help with those higher prices, Gersnecker says Meals on Wheels has been connecting with local vendors to find the best deals. But the need for volunteers, which went up during the pandemic, is also something they're still working on. Inflationary prices for food have, have kind of pushed some seniors that were doing okay onto that critical list again. So it's really kind of a crisis moment. Now that crisis moment could last through at least November. That's according to AAA. So of course Meals on Wheels is asking for any donations as well as volunteers 